Hi guys, in this video I will discuss about hydroxychloroquine and its uses. It's a relation with COVID-19 and its adverse effect. So let's start. It is used, it is indicated in the treatment of malaria, usually uncomplicated malaria. And it is also used in the prophylaxis of malaria. So it's a actually drug for malaria, it is anti-malarial drug. And it has immunomodulatory and anti-inflammatory actions. It is used in rheumatoid arthritis too. So this drug hydroxychloroquine is primarily used for malaria and rheumatoid arthritis. That another disease that systemic lupus erythematosus that is autoimmune disease characterized by different symptoms like sinus symptoms like mouth and the nose ulcer, skin rash, different heart disease, lungs disease, and blood disease, muscle and joint disease. So it's a drug of this condition also. Now what is the relation of COVID-19 with this hydroxychloroquine? Is it a cure? Is hydroxychloroquine is alone can take care of COVID-19? No, it's not. Though different studies shows uh, in China or other, uh, other country that when uh, a COVID-19 patient is taking hydroxychloroquine, he or she is improving. But it's not a conclusive uh, research. It's also, the research is going on. It is not conclusive that hydroxychloroquine is a one and only drug for COVID-19. There are several drugs that that uh, doctors are using the drug. Antiviral drugs, different other drugs also. Interferon. So hydroxychloroquine is, the doctors are using in cases where they think that it may help. FDA also approves the uses of COVID-19, uh, uses of hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 and our organization, medical organization ICMR, they also approve the use of uh, hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19. But there are some specifications. It's not like that a common people go and buy this drug and use uh, self-medicate. It's not a drug for self-medicated, it has several adverse effects or side effects also. And there are some guidelines. Who can, who are the eligible individuals who can take this drug? ICMR clearly shows it's, an, it's, a, it's a drug that is not for all. You have to take on the prescription of uh, medical practitioners, registered medical practitioner only. And do not self-medicate. There are two guideline to specification is there in icmr website who can take it in prophylactic use those who are asymptomatic health healthcare worker that they're involved in the care of suspected or confirmed cases of covid 19 and asymptomatic household contacts of laboratory confirmed cases they can use this drug that is not for all it has several side effects and adverse effects also now we will discuss about the what are the adverse effects or side effects of this drug. Now exclusion or absolute contraindication. This drug is not recommended for prophylaxis in children under 15 years of age. This the drug is contraindicated in persons with known case of retinopathy and known hypersensitivity to hydroxychloroquine for amino quinoline compounds. So these conditions you can't use this drug. Now, what are the adverse effects of hydroxychloroquine if, if you are taking without prescription or with a uh, prolonged time? You can expect irreversible retinal damage if you use this drug prolong, in prolonged time, a long duration. So you can expect irreversible retinal damage. There is a grave condition. There are several life-threatening and fatal cardiomyopathy that is also reported with the use of hydroxychloroquine so it has effect on heart also including fatal cardiomyopathy and the sign and symptoms of cardiac compromise have appeared during acute and chronic treatment that means if you are taking single dose this cardiac event may happen now 
neuro psychiatric events including suicide suicidality that is suicidal behavior have been rarely reported in patient patients who are treated with hydroxychloroquine now hypoglycemia hydroxychloroquine had shown that it can cause severe hypoglycemia including loss of consciousness that could be life threatening so you can see that there are several side effects also now it has many drug interactions also my drug interactions mean, means if you are taking other drugs with this hydroxychloroquine that there may be some problem will be there some interaction in between two drugs and that uh, that will cause deteriorate of your health digoxin ampicillin different antacids cimetidine there are list of a long list of medicines that can cause drug interaction with these now overdose if you are self self medicating you taken yourself and you don't know the dose then that will cause overdoses reaction so you have to avoid all these things drug interaction overdose side effect and what should you do for avoiding these things do not self medicate do not purchase this drug only purchase this drug when a doctor is prescribing or when it needs i think you all can understand the gravity of misusing this hydroxychloroquine drug or any drug so my advice is that do not take hydroxychloroquine as a uh, that it can cure your corona it is let's the doctor take a call now the main medicine for this corona virus or covid 19 is stay safe stay home if you stay in the home you will stay safe and corona will go soon thank you very much for patient listening